Hey everyone, it's Erica and I'm back with another layout. I will be using the December 2016 Click Kit that features the You Are Love collection by Bella Boulevard. I'll also be pulling in some of the embellishments from my January 2017 Click Kit. So I'm starting out with this black and white photo and I'm just showing you real quick some of the December embellishments. Uh, this photo I took of me and Eli and then the two puppies are also in the photo and we were just watching cartoons, laying in bed and just having a lazy morning and the dogs um, were all cuddled up and it was really, really cute and just wanted to capture the moment. So I'm going to scrap this photo and I did print it in black and white. Um, I'm gonna start out with this paper from Bella Boulevard and do the packaging technique with some of my mists that I have in my stash. This one right here I believe is a Heidi Swap um, color shine and then I also pull out some shimmers sprays as well. There's this blue one here and then the yellow, I pull out a yellow one as well. These um, were from the Click Kits shop and if we do have any of these in stock I'll make sure to leave the links below. If we do not have them in stock I'll list them to the shimmer shop so you guys can check those out. So I am just adding this, the mists and um, adding some splatters. I wish I would have added some gesso to my page um, at the beginning, but I didn't and it did warp quite a bit and the colors didn't spread and mix as well as I would, I like, as well as I would have liked, but I do like the way that the layout turns out. So I'm just gonna add some layers behind my photo real quick. I don't add a whole bunch of layers, just I believe like three or four different layers and all the papers that I use do come from the December kit. So I had pulled, I had set my background aside to dry um, and then I would keep coming in and um, doing the packaging technique with the different colors and then letting it dry in between. I didn't film all that for you but um, it's pretty, pretty simple. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the packaging technique done. So uh, I'm just continuing to add some more layers here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut just a bunch of strips out of three of the papers in the kit and then add them to the back of my photo. I love all the black that is included in this kit. I just love nice colors with pops of black in it and this is one of my favorite kits. Um, and Bella Boulevard is one of my favorite um, design companies as well so this kit is a lot of fun to work with and I'm, I have more layouts coming and videos to share with you guys so stay tuned. So um, I did add some Black India ink to my layout and there's a big old blop right there. I was shaking the bottle and I didn't have it closed all the way and it kind of flew out of the bottle and landed right there. So I'm gonna kind of cover it up with my photo and then also embellishment. So I wasn't too worried about it when it happened. I figured I would just cover it up. So right now I'm gonna add some foam tape to the back of my photo and then set it down. And then I'm gonna realize that my paper is pretty warped so I pull my photo off and trim this paper down a little bit and then I'm gonna pull a piece of black cardstock from my stash. Um, I actually got it from the Click Kit store and it's a My Mind's Eye black cardstock and it's pretty uh, a heavyweight cardstock so it's really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just add that um, peeking from the side and the top of my background. I'm gonna add some double-sided tape and then go ahead and adhere that down to the black cardstock. It kind of just flattens out the paper a little bit and since it was like so wet in the middle the paper isn't as strong so the black cardstock will help give it some strength and keep it together. So okay I got my photo down and then I'm gonna start to pull embellishments that I have here on this tray. I'm really loving this tray. I picked it up from the Target dollar spot so if you're interested in it it's like a little honeycomb shape and it's got a little pink tray inside and that pink tray also comes out um, it was in the Target dollar spot for like five dollars it was really cute it's kind of with the Valentine stuff it's a great little tray to hold embellishments and things so I'm just pulling out different embellishments and placing them on my layout where I think I want them to go and I'm gonna kind of mess around with these a little bit before I start to adhere them down. I also pull some of the tabbies out that came in the kit and I'm gonna adhere this one here down on my layout and then add another yellow tab um, from the exclusive die cut pack. Uh, the exclusive die cuts in this kit were designed by Claudia um, 
Claudia Van Rohan Designs, and I will leave her link for her shop down below. Um, she did the die cuts for the December kit and also the word, the little word stickers. And then I believe that was it for this kit. So I'll make sure to leave her link to her Etsy shop down below so you can check out her shop as well. She's got a bunch of collections in there. They're digital collections and you can print those out. So I'm going to start adhering some things down. I did pull out some black thread and kind of just made a little messy nest and adhered it down to my paper and then added the embellishments on top. I'm going to have this little flare button trying to figure out where I'm going to put it. I will in the end um, pop that up with some foam tape and just adhere it down there. So I'm going through and adding some wet glue to the embellishments and um, placing them on my layout. I usually do not work with a pattern paper background. It's I'm uh, I tend to use just white backgrounds, so this this background was kind of hard for me, but I really like the way it came out. Um, and I love that the, the way the colors color mist look on the paper. So the photo is of, like I said, me and my youngest Eli, and then our two puppies, Izzy and Lola. Um, Izzy is our boxer and Lola is our pit bull. And Eli is the last one at home. He is the baby. And he is probably the one that I photograph the most because he is at home all the time and he loves getting his picture taken. <laughs> So, um, I do, um, when he wants to lay down and watch cartoons, I take the time and lay down and watch cartoons. And if it's for two hours then it's for two hours, I mean, I do get to stay home. I've been blessed to be able to stay home with my babies and he is the last one. So kind of whatever he wants to do, we kind of do it as, you know, as long as I don't have any, anything that I really, really got to get done. So I do like to photograph these little moments because they're, they're little moments, but they're important moments. And I know before I know it, he's going to be off to school and, I mean, time goes by so fast. My oldest is going to be graduating this year and, I mean, it was just like yesterday. He was the one that was the tiny baby at home and it's just crazy. So I document just about every little moment that we have. So that's just about it. I finished putting all my embellishments down and this is the end of my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't think I'm adding anything else to it, but if I do, it's probably some of those word stickers there. So I will leave some still shots at the end for you. I will also leave the link below to the December uh, 2016 click kit and also the, the January kit because I pulled embellishments out of there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.